Hey guys, Bright Sapling here. Welcome to the first ever episode of Psychonauts on my channel. This will be a long, long term series because this game is very long, very big, and there's a lot of stuff to do in it. If you have never heard of this game, it originally came out for the PS2 if I'm not mistaken. I keep telling people that this game was one of my childhood games, but I didn't know of this game until I was, um, I was like 16 when I found out this was a game and I watched a playthrough of it on YouTube. I only got through so much of the YouTube series when halfway through it I dropped it. I wanted to play this game for myself so I didn't spoil the ending. I don't know if you guys can tell but I am really excited to show you guys this game. There is a lot of mind fuckery, okay? <laughs> As you can see, my character up here is standing on top of a brain, and I'm able to walk around. It This game gets ten times weirder than this. You're gonna think the developers did a tab of LSD before this. We see start new game, press to continue game, or load saved game. We're just gonna jump right into it, guys. Here we go. The human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber. Five and a half ounces of cranial fluid. 1,500 grams of complex neural matter. A three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield. And the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. <laughs> Oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psychonaut, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen. Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch! I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests. Superstar Psychonaut Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa! Light Monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. Is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Get, get in. Ugh. My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. Mm. But everybody calls me Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster. Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. 
I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once, kinda. But... Now I wear this special hat. Wanna try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I got big plans for that mind. Okay, so as you've seen there, we're in, we snuck into a government training facility, but it's just like a summer camp. In this summer camp, they, well, in this government facility, they teach kids to master their minds so they're able to battle as psychonauts. And these psychonauts battle enemies within their mind to shut them down from within. So in this game, we're going to be exploring the mind, dreams, nightmares, and all types of trips and stuff. I hope it doesn't mess with your mind too much. So right here, we can pick our bunk, aka our save file. So let's go ahead. I don't really care what bunk we get. Let's grab our bunk. And our name was Raz. And... I think we'll stick with that. Good night. All right, settle down in here. Big day tomorrow. I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot. I'm the early bird, and you're the worms. Got it? Now, lights out. Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Huh? Look over that way if you will. So we're introduced with a tutorial area. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a Psy challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. A whole rank. Uh -huh. Now look up for me if you will. Yes, sir. Mm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have okay. to buy a side core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up, and before you know it, 
you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. So, I wonder who our father is, and I wonder if he's gonna show up. Hey, or... Raz! Hurry up! You don't wanna be late for basic braining! Woohoo! Basic braining is the best class ever! Woohoo! I heard oh, okay. this one time a kid was late for basic braining, and Coach Oleander held him upside down until he turned blue. But I have to turn. Just drank a six pack of soda, and so when the coach shook him up, he exploded. Yeah, so this game is not afraid to throw out, like, super fucked up things at you, okay? Not, like, it's still for kids, in a sense, but this game will get a little effed up. So, you're dating Elka now. Does that mean we won't hang out as much? Shoot, I reckon things ain't gonna change one bit. Doggone it, partner. No woman's never gonna... Hey! You're gonna make my boyfriend late for class. Come on, James. Come. On. Ooh. There's secrets every everywhere around the camp, so we gotta make sure to uh, always take a look around. Can you can you flip? Flip around, I mean. No. Ah, as I was saying, there's secrets everywhere, so we gotta abuse the fact that we can run around. What is this? Your first arrowhead makes them very valuable. You can use arrowheads to buy items. That's very useful. Oh no, where am I going? Where is this leading me to? Oh, what was that? What was that? No. Oh, what's this? Frozen solid. Can I go back up? I, I think I have to climb back up with these. Oh, perfect. Oh, it's down here. Another arrowhead. That's good. Another PSI card. Arrowhead. Nice. And we're out. Alright, let's get to basic braining before we are too late. Oh, no. Don't tell me this kid's trying to make a squirrel's head explode. I'm telling you for the last time, no. I would never do that. I could never kill everyone. Oh. oh. Hi, Raz. Squirrel trouble? They're liars is off. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yeah. I'll meet you up there. As soon as they get these guys to shut up. <laughs> okay, well, I don't think... Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god. Okay, so <laughs> earlier I said this game could be for kids. I, I don't think it's for kids. I, I think it's just intentionally here to mind fuck you, okay? Can't see anything. Let's get the basic braining before I trigger any side quests. That kid, that kid's weird. Okay, so he still has the power to blow up people. Hey, where are you going, Maloof? Listen, the coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. Too late! Bobby! Ah! <laughs> hey, kid! <sighs> You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service. Cough it up, my loser, or you'll be coughing up bloody tears. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. <laughs> Benny, put this kid dead on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah, we'll settle this on the battlefield. Battlefield? 
Your journal is a great place to see what you've done so far and plan what you're going to do next. Yeah, let's get to basic braining, bro. Coach Oleander, I'm reporting for basic braining. Son, do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind and you will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. It won't be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? Okay, so he's giving me this option. I'm going to take it. Well, maybe I will explore a bit more before. Just so I'm prepared for class. No hurry, no hurry. Enjoy your childhood before it's ripped away from you, son. Okay, okay. So he's giving me the option to run around, so I'm thinking there is a lot more for me to see. Things. Fire yes. starters. Levitators. The Whispering Rockers. Oh, uh, what? That's my band name idea. Why aren't you guys in Coach Oleander's class? Are you kidding? A kid got killed in that class last year. I heard it was a bunch of kids, Phoebe. Well, I heard it was a bunch of blind kids, and the coach threw them off a cliff. Yeah, because they were late for class. You'd better hurry, kid. Now, where were we, Quinn? Levitators. Okay, uh, so they're not in the class. What's this? You know that cabin is empty, right? Duh. I'm practicing for tonight, when it's gonna be full of ladies. That kind of thing takes practice. Um, excuse me, but my parents let me watch R-rated movies, so I think I know a little bit more about this than you do, okay? Okay, buddy. I'll see you Fire later, starters. man. <laughs> Levitators. Alright, so, yeah, I thought this game f was for kids, but honestly, they reference a lot more adult you, subjects. You, new boy. Seen bear lurking in woods? Nope. Was it you? Giant, hairless bear? In Russia, bears much smaller, also more hairy, <laughs> less lurking, always eager to wrestle. Dude, I this love one, this guy. Hide and run. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot lurk forever, bear. Is my mic muted? I hope not. If it is, I'm restarting. I'll have to. Okay, my mic's not muted. We're good. What is this? The rest of camp is off limits until you have a basic braining merit badge. Now get. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think that that's gonna do it for the campgrounds. Let's uh, let's get up to basic braining and begin. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? No, sir. Already did that. I'm ready, sir. Well then. Well then. You're late, right, soldier. Now get in here and give me twenty. So, this is it. The mental world. It looks like a dentist office. A mental dentist office. It's a recruiting office, kids. And I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Because this is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. Too late, soldier. <laughs> you said... There's only one way out of here. Fighting. I want one of you chickens to sock me square in a jaw. But I warn you, once you do, the war is on. Yes, sir. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> What kind of obstacle course is this? That kid just got killed. A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart. He's not dead. His astral projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of here too if you don't get moving right now. <laughs> yes, sir. Sorry, sir. All right. So these are the memories of Onward my coach. Forward, soldier. And he is training me to be a psychonaut at this moment of time. just a figment of my imagination. You can run right through figments. 
They help you rank up, and when you rank up, you earn new psychic power. So whenever you see a figment, suck it up, soldier. Come on. Suck it up. I like it. Okay. Get that figment. Be a figgy piggy. What are you? Hey, what are you staring at? We all have emotional baggage, kid. Why don't you make yourself useful? Sort some of it out while you're in here. Keep your eyes peeled for a tag that matches. Could be anywhere. You'll have plenty of time to stand around when you're dead. A tag that matches. There it is. Now, you will pick up that tag and you will put it on that bag you just found. Unless you'd rather just drop and give me 20 right now. <laughs> my bowels move more than you do, Pokey. Sorry, sir. I'll handle it. Oh, what a happy little get together. That's amazing. So pleasant for a war. You hit that ladder hard, son. Show it who's I'll, boss. I'll hit it hard, sir. Oh my god, there's there's dog fighting. Watch out! Fire down below! I wasn't listening to him. Man. Lord, what is this? We can't get past this. This is stupid. Hmm. Looks like a test. There's probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry, what? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you, stupid. What's flying at me? Well, <laughs> Bobby felt his foot. That's what. You stupid new kid. Yeah. <laughs> <Whoa>! Oh. <laughs> Thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm. No. <laughs> Hopefully we get to know that character a little better over the series. It's game day, kid! <laughs> you hit like a boy. Uh... Well, okay, I just dropped into the most random bunker ever, but I accept the challenge. Good so far. Alright, well, where will this lead me to? Is your name Joey? No. Because I'm going to call you Slowy Joey. That's not my name. What was that, Slowy? I can't hear ya. You're talking too slow. <laughs> You're like most now that kind of wall. You can climb it up, down, sideways, whatever way you want. Just get on it. Yo, hey, watch it, dude. Slow down, you kid. If you pass me or Bobby, you'll make us look bad. And Bobby will pound you down. Bobby, can you hear me? Where are you? Watch those mines, kid. I'll blow you up like a ten cent kazoo. Are you scared, man? Come on, bro. Yep. Oh. Yep. Yep. Raise the flag. There we are. What? When he Excuse crossed. me? What did he just say? <laughs> just. I don't get this game at all, man. Loud. Hey, look! It's Raz! Yay! Raz is here! Yeah! Maybe you'll be able to beat this darn game! We can't do it! Yeah, we're no good, and the coach won't open the gate until someone wins! Yay! Raz! Just punch that to start! Oh, right, ground slam. You score enough points on this course, kid. 
and I'll give you a reward. Okay, hit the bad targets and not the good punch, targets. Raz, punch, 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 bad punch, target. Punch. Shut up. Hey, Raz, punch, Raz, punch, 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 punch. Hey, good job, soldier. Now here's your reward. Oh, thank you. That was honestly the best reward most people they got something to hide they store away their shame their dirty little secrets and these tiny vaults in their minds but the enemy is not allowed any secrets in wartime are they soldier so go ahead and bust open this vault i got nothing to hide yes sir another figment right here okay come here come here boy ah good this is a psychic arrowhead. Its raw energy will contribute value to your arrowheads in a small amounts. What is this? Olander's Pride. Absolutely breathtaking. I think I could come back here eventually and collect collectibles maybe? Oh god, a turret. Okay. We're gonna have to be quick about this one. Mental health, maintaining your mental health is important. So if I need any, it's the blue things. Ah. Uh. Alright, here we go. Where's the next one at? Over here? Oh, I found you a tag? I had no idea. Why are you eating it, bro? <laughs> Okay, this game is really weird. Here we go! Oh god! Alright, where's the next one at? Oh, I got him. Let's get in there. Yeah! Classic Zill! Eh, whatever. Let him be Zilch, I guess. Alright, so this is where we raise the flag? How come Zilch didn't do this? Whoa. Oh, a little climbing exercise, eh? Change direction with F, that would have been nice to know. found your tag too man here you are so they're actually making a second psychonauts and I'm pretty stoked to see what what comes of it first of all I gotta finish this game and I'm super excited to do that for you guys all right Hold it right there boy that's a mental cobweb you can collect them with a specialized piece of equipment once you get checked out on it till then just steer clear of them Yes, sir. As you can see, the trapeze is very difficult. Most cadets can't handle it. You might just want to stay away from it. You'd still get a participation ribbon at the end of camp. Oh, Lord. Huh. Alright, let's hope we make this. Nice. Z to enter first person mode. Can I constantly play in first person? No, I can't. That's okay. Can I can I not do the zip line? Oh, I got it. You'll have plenty of time to stand around when you're dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard you the first time. What? I missed it. I'm still alive though. Come on. No. Where am I? What is this? I'm dead. Oh, I got it. I got it. Nice. Move, move, move. Oh. Hey, kid. I think I see a silver dollar out there in that rail. Why don't you walk out there a bit and pick it up? Yes, sir. Uh, change directions with spacebar and directional arrow ah, keys. Sucker. See you at the bottom. OK. 
Okay. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh please. You're like molasses going uphill in January. End of the line, sucker. I'm oh. away. <laughs> yes. That's how you do it, Raz. Show him. Alright. I think we're close to the end of the basic tr uh, braining. Oh. Ah, the old rolling tunnel of crazy logs, man. Right. Old one, but a hard one. What you gotta do is... <laughs> ah, who are we kidding? Who are we You're kidding? Gonna make it through that. <laughs> He's laughing at me now, but I'm determined. Raz is determined. Here we are. Let's see it. It's actually not as hard as he exclaims it, it is, but I just gotta watch for how fast it's going, and I control how fast I'm going. Alright, now I just wait a little bit longer. Now I can hop on this. Wait a little bit longer. I could preemptively jump, but I'm not gonna do that. I'll take the smart way, thank you very much. Huh. Hey, here we are. Impossible, Hello? please. Hello? Guess I'm early. A door? Hold it right there, son! Now just what in the Sam Hill do you think you're doing in there? I was just looking for a way out. Oh. Sorry about that. Couldn't think you'd get to the end so fast. Dang, I didn't think you'd get to the end at all. You surprised me out there, kid. Here, you've earned this. Your first Psychonaut Merit Badge. Yeah. But I'm always glad to see a soldier come back from the field alive. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go back in. I left some good men back there. Way to make us look bad in there. You are in trouble now. Bobby Zilch ain't happy. You better watch yourself, Goggolicious. What's that, hair boy? You want a piece of me? Hey, Brainiacs. Settle down. Why? You worried I'm gonna hurt your boyfriend? No. Because Sasha 9 is standing right behind you. Your performance, young cadet, was oh. outstanding. Hello there. I'd like you to report to my lab for some advanced training. Ooh! Raz the Spaz is gonna be in a special class. Benny, remind me to give him a special beating later, okay? These tests are unauthorized, though, so I can't actually ask you to come. But if you happen to drop in, well, what could I do? Let me just give you this. Remember, your talent will always set you apart, Rasputin. Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. Wait! I don't even know what your lab is! Is this some kind of test? Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. And now I'm hearing things. Great. Skin, you okay. don't have to do anything. <laughs> I'm gonna close my eyes, right? And then I'm gonna start to count to a hundred, okay? And then you guys hide. Everybody got it? It's hide and seek, Vernon, not hide and calculus. We've all got it. I got it. You start counting, and then I go hide in that bush. Great. Wood. Milka, you're a genius. Come on, Dogen. Hold on. 
This reminds me of a story. It's about counting. Hello? Man, you guys are good. That's sort of cheating, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna find them, buddy. Alright, so we can drop by the lab on our way out of the campground. Alright, yeah, let's let's get to the... Um... No passing. But I need to get to Sasha 9's secret lab. Maybe you should have thought of that before. I did think of that before. That's why I'm here now. Exactly. Now you gotta pay the toll. One arrowhead. Pay up. I found this thing. Is that what you're talking about? Yep, that's an arrowhead. How'd they get here? Frankie, the new kid can't be this dumb, right? The camp's built on an Indian burial ground and... Oh my gosh! Indians buried their dead here? Ew! I hope not. No, stupid. They buried their arrowheads here. They're hidden underground, but they let out a little gas once in a while. Just like Coach Oleander. So if you see any of that stuff, just pull them right out. Like truffles. Anyway, let me have one of yours. Really? Don't tell me I gotta do that every time to get past this bridge. Whoa there, you. Come here, you. Can't do the scavenger hunt without a list. Report back to me when you have enough items for your first promotion. Now get! Excuse me? Find eight items and you'll be promoted four ranks. Find eight more and you will get promoted another four ranks. Okay, so we're just looking for random items around the campgrounds? Is that what it is? So where do I... Hey, where'd he go? How does that old guy get around so fast? Yeah, right? Kinda sus, if you ask me. Hopefully we'll find out. Mother Russia, oh. yes? Ah, thanks for offer, but only want to fight Bear today. I only want to fight Bear today. I'm loving this game, and I'm gonna say that a lot more throughout this series. This game is just too much, man. It's way too good. Excuse me. Hey, Lily. Do you know where Sasha 9's secret lab is? Secret? It's printed on your map. Duh. Oh, I knew that. I was just curious if you knew where Sasha 9's lab was. Because I do. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay, well, I, I didn't know. Alright, so here's a little, little cocksuckers that stole my fucking arrowhead. I think I want to just enter the lodge. Oh, yeah, break it down, guys. Keep it up, you're doing great. Sir. Excuse me. I told you them burgers ain't ready. But, no you didn't. The coals ain't hot. They're not gonna be done for a while. And maybe a week? A week? They're back ordered. I'm the only one back here. These things take time. A week? I don't even want a hamburger. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? So, what do you want? Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Ah. Take that into someone's mind with you. You can clean up. They're happy to be rid of the webs. And you can turn them in for side cards. Wait, that hold... That. Oh, that's my last cobweb. Now hold on, that. that's, oh, that's 800. And with that, you can change the color of some of your side powers. Like your levitation ball and what have you and what not. Well, kind of a vanity thing. You know, in my days... A vanity I, thing, I, really. Something every young side cadet needs. Yeah, what is it? Me mental magnet? I think this uh, magnetizes all the figments. Now that Dawson rod will help you find arrowheads that are buried deep. That's for all the really valuable ones are, you know. Find three. Now, you take that side core there, put it together with nine side cards, and you'll have yourself a brand new side challenge marker, which is worth a whole rank, you know. Mmm, dream fluffs. Delicious, nutritious, and cheap. Lily said it was printed on our map, the location of the lab. Let's take a look at our map. Uh, lab. Is that where I'm going right there? Where am, where am I and where am I facing? I'm outside. Okay, so I just need to walk forward. Hey, you're that new kid, ain't you? Well, I'm doing some advanced training right now, as a matter of fact. So I don't think new kid is really a name that you want to get too used to saying. Hold on there. You're not doing Sasha 9's advanced training that he does in his secret underground lab, are you? Hidden deep within the iron walls of the GPC, where no one can hear you screaming? Why, yes, I am. Sakes alive. 
Well, nice knowing you. <laughs> yep. I'll see how it goes. That's really reassuring, guys. Hey, was that you? Looking at me? Maybe you should try getting over yourself? There were a lot of other people on that stage besides you. No, just now. In the woods. Hmm, <laughs> no. It must have been something else. You don't smell like pond scum. Nice. You should write greeting cards. There was some sort of shadowy being out there. Lurking. Watching. I know of only one creature who fits that description. It likes to hide in dark places, silently watching unsuspecting children from a distance. Really? Who? You, tree sitter! <laughs> okay, well, you know, that was sort of out of the blue. I saw Neil. Hey, Dogen, I got a secret for you. Neil. Not fair! Whispering is so rude. What did he tell you, Dogen? I'm hiding. And I thought... Oh, Nils. When will you peek into the hole in my heart? Because you just see yourself staring back. Uh-huh. What? I mean, he'd see my new boyfriend, James, staring back. And he'd be furious at Nils. Who's Nils? Exactly! And... Anyway, there wouldn't even be a hole because James fills my heart till sometimes I think it's gonna explode. One time, I made someone's head explode. Well, okay, maybe there's still a little hole. Actually, it happened four times. But James and I have each other now, and Nils is just gonna have to deal with it. Now they make me wear this special hat, so I don't have any more accidents. Are you even listening to me, Dogen? I hope so. <laughs> okay. Who is whining, bro? Uh, hey! Is anybody out there? Let me out! Help! Somebody! Someone's There's stuck no up here. here. <laughs> You're actually stuck in this? Stop! Fuck! Stop it! Shut up! Oh my god, I'm just gonna jump down here. Hey! Welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Kruller? Or somewhere else? <laughs> Take me to my private sanctuary. Where would you like me to t uh, let's go to... Let's go to Ford's... I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble Psycho Master. Yeah, let's go here, because this is probably the the lab it is very good hmm you finally made it it's an honor to finally meet you in person sir i thought i recognized you in my dream but i couldn't be sure now that i see you in your element there's no doubt you're ford crawler the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. Okay, so this old guy has a pretty, uh, pretty big title. I didn't know he was so important. Here. What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This trading facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoon benders don't kill each other. Of course. Um, I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes, well, well, I have many disguises. It helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> <Now>. <laughs> When I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. Okay, um... Are you... So, yeah. what mission are you on down here? Well, from here I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, 
ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. Okay, that sounds good. What does all this equipment do? What does all do? this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. Ah. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. That's good. Uh, yeah, what's, what's this? What's titanium? Titanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. Hmm? Uh... I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. My head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. Bacon? Is that a piece of bacon? Oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have like a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. <laughs> okay, so if we look in our inventory, we have... We have a... We have bacon now, it seems. Alright, so this wasn't the exact laboratory I was looking for. So let's head out of here. What was Let that? It's a, it's a bear, a floating bear. Wait, a, wait, the Russian wanted to fight a bear. Hold up, I'm gonna try to tussle with this bear real quick. <laughs> that thing's scary. Try me. Yeah? Are you psychic or something, bro? I got it. Not bad. Okay. Really? That time I punched it, it worked? Thanks. I thought I was going to have to eat my own arm. What is this thing? It's a GPC, a geodesic psychoisolation chamber. Oh, man. Cool. Cool? Do you have any idea what this does? Something cool? Uh, no. It's a six sensory deprivation tank. A hermetically sealed metaphysical hot box. It's solitary Hobo. confinement for psychics. Nasty. And the coach locked you inside it? Nah, the staff hasn't put any kids in the GPC since the 50s. Bobby threw me in here. Bullion dwarf accomplice should assault own size or larger only. While in cooler, perhaps notice gigantic bear with skin where hair should be? I didn't see anything in there. <laughs> That's the whole point. Hmm. Just so. Empty now. Good luck, small ones. Hey, wait! <laughs> Man, I love the Russian. Hmm. Looks like one of the buttons is missing. Oh. What is this? One of the buttons is missing. I have the button. Hold on. Problem solving. How do I equip it? Aha. <laughs> it was a test. Agent 9? I'm here for the advanced training. Is that the cleaning lady? 
I'll get those files out of your way just as soon as I'm done with these tests. <laughs> I'm not the cleaning lady. I'm your uh, test subject. So what are we going to learn? Bending spoons? Burning stuff? I've been hearing a lot about head explosion, and I was wondering... Science, Rasputin. That is what we practice down here. Not parlor tricks. If you are serious about exploring the possibilities of your mind, step up to the brain tumbler and we'll begin. Brain tumbler? Huh. The brain tumbler. Let's do it. So, what's this hairdryer thing do? Ah, you're ready for the brain tumbler. With this device, we will send you deep into your own psyche, where you should find unparalleled insight and power. Excellent! Tumble away. Now just relax. This will not hurt. Unless something really very bad happens. <laughs> Hello, and welcome. Wow. Is this what the inside of my mind looks like? Not yet. You're still traveling to the astral plane. This is a tiny corner of what we call the collective unconscious. A place in which all of our unconscious minds are connected. You have just begun your training, Rasputin, so many of the connections with other minds are still not developed for you, and those doorways remain just out of reach. But the more you explore the mental world, the more connections you will form. Right now, the only unconscious world you can enter is that one, your own. Step through it, and we'll continue. Okay. Rasputin, can you hear me? Sasha? Where am I? You are inside your own mind, but I'm not sure where. Tell me, what can you see? I see a run-down gypsy caravan. Do you recognize it? Yes. It's where I was born. I see. Compelling. Really? Get these figments real quick. Hey, come back here. And you. Rasputin's getaway. Ah. And that ha that is how I got to the camp, and that's why I ran away from the the carnival. Sasha, I'm going inside the caravan. What do you see inside? White noise. I'm not sure. It's getting fuzzy. I teleported into a white noise room. Aha! Rasputin, are you okay? What do you see now? I see a small, bunny-like animal thing. Hmm. An unfamiliar animal entity in a dream often represents a primal fear or memory. Follow it and it should lead you somewhere important. Check. Okay, Mr. Bun. You and I are gonna be tight. Wherever you go, I go. Like two peas in a... Hey! Come back here! Alright. So we gotta follow this bunny. Pieces. Huh? Beat my meat. <laughs> uh... Sasha? What is it? Another bunny? No. This is more of a super scary flaming-eyed demon kind of deal. Oh. Hmm. What? Okay, I'm pulling you out of there. Just give me a second. Uh, Sasha? Hold on, I'm still getting some unusual interference. It's fascinating. As if someone else... Agent 9? Sorry. Almost ready. Sasha! Wow. It's almost like if someone else... Ah! Hmm. That should not have happened. We need to try that again. Oh, I don't think I need to be in the tumbler with the glowy eye guys anymore. Suit yourself. 
You know, in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to fight. Come see me when you're ready. Okay, so it was almost like he was hinting someone else was in my mind. But I don't know how that is so, because I haven't experienced the storyline yet, and we will find out. I think, actually, I might just end the first episode right here. That is a, quite a lot of progress, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Let me know what you think of the series in the comments down below, and yeah, I'll see you guys next episode.